in this little inner border, I've changed thread color because I didn't want to put variegated thread in this area. I think people need to know that you can change color in different areas on the quilt. And these little hearts are not that hard to do. If you practice these on paper, you'll be surprised at how easy they are. You just swing over, touch the side of the last one, and make sure that you make the middle. There we go. This is the template that I'm going to use. It's a heart template. On the other side of it is a star template, which is also very cool. And this is the workstation, which slides up and down the table. And so I just need to get it in position. So I'll put the heart on here. And I'll just screw that in position like that. And this first heart I'm going to do is facing me. So I will put it here and then I will make sure that it's held in position. And then I'll bring my machine over to the middle of that heart. And at this point, um, I'm going to roll so that, uh, just roll the quilt until the end of this little stylus gets right over here. And so I'm going to put my needle down in the quilt. See, I'm putting my needle down in the quilt. And then I'll gently roll with the needle down. There we go, until the stylus is right over the top of that and right in the middle of the heart. And I want to check and see which one of these is going to work the best. And once I get that in position, I also want to make sure that I put the workstation. I just, um, it has teeth along the edge here, and I just make sure that that is secured so that the workstation doesn't move. Okay, I'm, I've just gone around the edge of the heart and, and just to see how it's going to look up there. And the heart's shaped just a little bit differently, but it's going to give me a good uh, base for this heart. I don't want to start in a point, so I'm going to start on the side, and I'll just go down and bring my thread up, up on top. And then I'm going to go into the next one in. So I get uh, two lines of the heart. And then I'm going to skip over two. I'm going to come into a smaller one and do two of that one. This will give me an area if I want to uh, do some feathering in between them. Now you can notice I'm dry. I know I'm dragging my thread as I go from place to place, but I will go on the front and um, cut all of those threads and then make sure I cut them in the back. Do that one, and then one more, the smallest one. There we go, and now I'm going to take the pin out and go to the front and do some freehand for you. I love what that has done, has really emphasized that heart, but there is some heart out here where um, the template wasn't shaped exactly like the heart that was pieced. So I'm going to come in on the outside and I will just feather, fill all of that in with feathers. So 
just like this. See, I'm reaching right out to that area with the feathers. Come down and on this side. Once you learn how to do feathers, you'll need to know how to do them inside, outside, and upside down. And every feather possible, you want to know how to do. So in a moment's notice, you can put a feather in anywhere. There we have it. I love it. I just have a little area at the bottom here. And I'm just going to drip three little feathers down there at the bottom. Then I will go back and cut the threads on the front and back as promised. I finished all the hearts and I timed myself. It took four minutes from the time I even started to find the position until the heart was finished. So that was very fast.